So for as long as we can all remember, the women were given the responsibilities for cooking in the kitchen. But I think that's time to change. And you know, men, do you want to impress your ladies? Because if you didn't know, food is the way to our hearts. So today, I'm going to be showing you a simple and easy breakfast burrito because we're going to go to college next year and we're going to be living by ourselves. And we all don't want to have the same bland granola bars and fruits every day for breakfast. So um, when I was a little kid, I would like to go over to my grandma's house and make just random cooking like recipes. I would add mashed potatoes and like water and think that was going to become a cake and would try to make my mom eat them and she would decline very nicely. So um, I'm going to show you ingredients, the assembly, and then the presentation of putting it together. So today you're going to need, I'm just going to do one egg for time, but an egg, um, butter, cheese, bacon, um, some milk, syrup, and tortillas. Um, so let's get into cooking. Okay, so for the first thing you're going to do is just take your egg and I like to use the side of the bowl to crack it kind of in the center. And if you use your two fingers, your thumbs, and pull out, you won't get shell into your bowl because that's not good. <laughs> and then you're going to add just a little bit of milk just so that it's not super runny. And then I like salt and pepper just to give it some flavor. So just however you like your seasoning. And then just take a fork to scramble the yolk so that when you put it in the pan, you don't have a big chunk of egg because no one wants to do that. So before I started, I preheated my burner to like between medium and low because we don't want it to cook too fast so that it burns and it's not cooked all the way through. So then um, we're just going to take a little bit of butter and put it around the bottom of the pan to give it some flavor. And then go ahead and pour your mix into the pan. And while that's cooking, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you like what I did for the bacon. Um, so I just use pre-cooked bacon. Um, it just comes in a box like this. You can substitute it for turkey bacon just if you don't like regular bacon. And if you just put like two or three strips onto a paper plate and put, um, you can put a paper towel over it. It won't usually bubble because it's pre-cooked. Um, and then just stick in the microwave for 20 seconds and it should end up looking like this where you crumble it up and put it in an empty bowl. Um, so you want your eggs to well, you want to watch for it to bubble so that you know, like, kind of when you should start scrambling it. It'll get, like, thicker around the edges, and then that's when you know that the bottom part that's touching the pan is ready to be scrambled. So I'm just showing you, like, a basic burrito. You can substitute the bacon for sausage. You can put peppers in it. You can cover You can dip it in salsa, really, whatever you want. So this, these are pretty much... Done. You want them to be like golden, but not burnt, obviously, because no one wants burnt eggs. And then, as this cook, you're gonna add some shredded cheese into the bowl with the bacon. And scramble them some more, and so they will be like a brown, golden brown color. And then you can go ahead and add them into your mix. You can turn off your heat because you're done with that. So then I'm going to um, get my tortilla out and put it on an empty plate. And I like to just put the mix right into the center of the tortilla so that it doesn't um, spill out because that's not good. And for some flavor, I like to put syrup in mine. So I just put it over the mix. And a helpful tip is if you fold the bottom of the burrito first, it won't fall out the bottom. And then you just want to fold it nice and tight, like this. And then you can also dip it in syrup, like I said earlier, or um, salsa, just really whatever you want. And so today I just showed you a simple breakfast burrito through the ingredients you need, the prep, and the assembly of the burrito. And I hope if you are feeling generous or you want to show someone some love that you can just pull out this recipe and make them a breakfast. Thank you.